Hi, my name is Tom Conway. I'm a college professor uh, in the anthropology department at New Mexico State. My uh, colleague Miriam Chaikin and I are going to be presenting a talk at ALR in early February uh, that's entitled Africa Today. Uh, we both got our start in Africa back in the 1980s when we went there to work as applied anthropologists. Uh, in my case, I worked with an international agricultural research organization and ultimately I ended up living and working and doing research in Kenya and East Africa for uh, about four years. The organizations that I was working with were interested in developing new innovations uh, and new farm practices to help small farmers uh, earn more income and produce more food. And uh, we often had trouble as we were trying to implement these changes. Farmers were often resistant. Mm -hmm. And I came to the conclusion that it was really difficult to understand Africa today without understanding its historical context, and in particular, the legacy of colonialism. And so uh, the first topic that we'll be talking about uh, is uh, British colonialism uh, in East Africa, uh, looking at how the British uh, established their control, uh, African response, and ultimately, uh, what were the consequences of colonialism that will better help us understand uh, East Africa today. The second topic that I'll be talking about is basically a community study. Uh, an ethnic group called the Luo, uh, living in western Kenya, we'll look at the very challenging environment in which they live, uh, the various economic strategies uh, that they try to use to survive in that environment, and uh, some interesting and uh, important aspects of their social system, uh, including their marriage practices, uh, which uh, includes the, the practice of polygyny, where men may have more than one wife and ultimately look, look at what all this means uh, for the status of women and gender relations. And that will lead us uh, to Miriam's contribution. Um, I've also worked in Africa for many years, uh, starting with Tom. We lived in Kenya in the early 1980s through till 1987, and continued going back to Kenya for several summers subsequent to that. Um, and in the years since then, I've continued working in Africa I've worked a little bit in Ethiopia. I've done some short-term uh, projects in for Zambia and, and um, Rwanda, but most recently I've been working with Save the Children in a project in northern Mozambique um, in an area that's um, both similar and different to the other areas of Africa that we've worked in. So I'm going to be drawing on all of those experiences for the talks that I'll be giving. Um, the work that I've done for Save the Children and previously for UNICEF when I worked uh, in Kenya has really focused on trying to address the issues of hunger and malnutrition, access to food, and maternal and child health, and trying to make all of these programs effective and cost effective, but also culturally sensitive. And so I'm going to be drawing on those experiences for the two talks that I'll give. The first of them will be um, a segue from Tom's conclusion about the status of women in in Luo society, which is one of the themes he'll be exploring. And I'll be talking about the experiences of women perhaps more broadly across Africa, everything from the ways they make a living to the way they raise their children and the way their marriages are made and the opportunities and both both the opportunities and the challenges that women face. My second talk will draw on um, my experience is working in development and healthcare and food policy related work um, because I think when most people think of Africa they think of it as sort of just this giant disaster and I'm going to talk about some of the things that are, are difficult problems that Africans have to deal with but also some of the strategies in African development that are actually working in and making significant improvements in the quality of people's lives so I want to end on kind of a positive note of um, a, a brighter future for Africa today. And I think that will be the end of our series. Okay. Very good. Yeah, excellent.